I bet with chapter uh, is 33 of Ezekiel. And it says, this Ezekiel is Israel's watchman. I mean, God is using Ezekiel to warn Israel to repent of their sins and to, you know, to lead them um, down the path of righteousness. So he is their watchman. He is, you know, I say he's warning them to repent and turn, and turn to God. Uh, 33, the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, speak to, the, to your people and say to them, If I bring the sword upon the land and the people of the land take a man from among them, and make him their watchman. And if he sees the sword coming upon the land, and blows the trumpet, and warns the people, and if anyone who hears the sound of the trumpet does not take warning, and the sword comes and takes him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Meaning, God's telling Ezekiel, if you don't go out and warn these people what I'm telling you, then, then their blood will be upon your head. I will blame you for their death. It's pretty hard stuff. Um... Let's see, it says in verse 5, He heard the sound of the trumpet and did not take warning. His blood should be upon himself, but if he had taken warning, he would have saved his life. But if the watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow the trumpet, so that the people are not warned, the sword comes and takes any, takes any one of them, that person is taken away in his iniquity or sin. But his, bl but his blood I will require at the watchman's hand. So you, son of man, I have made a watchman for the house of Israel. Whenever you hear a word from my mouth, you shall give them warning from, from me. I say to the wicked, O wicked one, you shall surely die, and you, do not, and, you, and you do not speak to warn the wicked to turn from his ways. That wicked person shall die in his iniquity or sin, but his blood I will require at your hand. I mean, you know, God's telling Ezekiel what I just told you. you know, he's telling Ezekiel that if you don't go out and warn these people, you know, of my judgment, if you go out and warn them to, to repent of their sins, then their blow will be upon your head. I will, um, you know, God's saying that um, I will blame you for their deaths. That's why. That's, so that's why God even tells us to go out, you know, and, and to preach His word and go out and warn people about their sins and, and warn them to repent of their sins and, and, and live a life of Christ. Because um, if we don't do that, then God could very well hold us accountable. And he will hold us accountable. If he, if, he, if God tells you to do something and, and, if you, and uh, you don't and you don't do it, you just obey him, he's gonna, he, he's gonna hold you accountable for that. So always do what God tells you to do, even if it's the, even if it's the hardest thing that, that you can imagine, always do it. Because he, know, he knows what's best for us. Um, it says, uh, So you son of man, I have made a watchman for the house of Israel. Whenever you hear a word from my mouth, you you shall give them warning from me. If I say to the wicked, O wicked one, you shall surely die, you, and you do not speak to warn the wicked to, to turn from his ways, a wicked person shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will require your hands. But if you warn the wicked to turn from his way, and he does not turn from his way, that person shall die in his iniquity, but you will be, but you will have delivered your soul. So God's saying, if you go out and warn these people, yeah, they don't listen to you, and, and they die in their own sin, you know, God said, I, I will not hold you accountable for that because you did what I told you, but they didn't want to repent, so, so it's their own fault that they died in their sin. Why will you die, Israel? And you, son of man, say to the house of Israel, thus, does, thus have you said, Surely our transgressions and our sins are upon us, and we rot away because of them. How then can we live? Say to them, As I will live because of the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. But that the wicked turn from his ways and live, turn back, turn back from your evil ways. For why will you, for why will you die, O house of Israel? See, God wants to repent. You know, God doesn't want, God doesn't want us to die. You know, God doesn't want us to die and go to hell. But you know, He warns us to repent. He warns us over and over and over to repent of our sins, so that we can, you know, live a life for Him, so that we can be in heaven with Him. But if you don't listen, if you don't listen to Him, if you don't listen to His word. You know, if you turn a deaf a deaf ear to it, and you die in your sins, that's your own fault. Because God has given you so many times to repent and so many warnings, and you didn't heed it, you didn't listen to Him, and you die in your sins. That's your own fault. It's not God's fault. It's your own fault. So He so He God's warnings. You know, do what He says. Repent of your sins. Turn away from your sins and live a life for God. Listen to God. And you, son of man, say to your people, The righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him when he transgresses. 
as for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall by it when he turns from his wickedness. And the righteous shall not be able to live by, the, by his righteousness when he sins. Though I say to the righteous that he shall surely live, and yet if he trusts in his righteousness and does injustice, none of his righteous deeds shall be remembered. But in his injustice that he has done, he shall die. Again, though I say to the wicked, he shall surely die, yet if he turns from his sin and does what is just and right, if the wicked restores the pledge, gives back what he has taken by robbery, and walks in the rules of life, not doing injustice, he shall, he shall surely live. He shall not die. None of, the, none of the sins that he has committed shall be remembered against him. If he has done what is just and right, he shall surely live. Yet your people say, The way of the Lord is not just, when it is their own way that is not just. When the righteous turns from his righteousness and does injustice, he shall die for it. And when the wicked turns from the wickedness and does what is just and right, he shall live by, by this. Yet you said, The way of the Lord is not just. O house of Israel, I will judge each of you according to your ways. It's pretty tough stuff. See, what Israel, well, you know, what people think in their day is, you have a lot of people today that think they know what's better for them. Really and truly, God knows what's better for us. You know, we don't, well, we don't know the future. No one does. Only God knows us. So God knows what's better for you. So stop, stop, so stop trying to put yourself on a pedestal, you know, and stop thinking, you know, what you know is best for you. And really and truly, we all know what's best for us. Only God knows that. So stop, you know, beating yourself up over, you know, trying to be, you know, um, perfect or whatever, you know. No one's perfect. We all make mistakes. All person that's perfect is God himself in Christ. So, just live a lot for God. Repent of your sins and live righteously. Um, let's see here. Jerusalem struck down. In the twelfth year of our exile, the tenth month, the fifth day of the month, a fugitive from Jerusalem came to me and said, The city has been struck down or destroyed. Now the hand of the Lord had been upon me the evening before the fugitive came, and he had opened my mouth by the time the man came to me in the morning, so my mouth was open, and I was no longer mute. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, the inhabitants of, the, of these waste places in the land of Israel keep saying, Abraham was only one man, yet he got possession of the land. But we are many. The land is surely given us to possess. Therefore it says, Therefore say to them, Thus says the Lord God, You eat flesh with the blood, and lift up your eyes to your idols, and shed blood. Shall you then possess the land? You rely on the sword. You commit abominations to each of you. Defile, defiles his neighbor's wife. Shall you then possess the land? Say this to them. Thus says the Lord God, As I live, surely those who are in waste are surely... Those who are in the waste places shall fall by the sword. And whoever is in the open field, I will give to the beast uh, to be devoured. And those who are in strongholds and in caves shall die by pestilence, which is disease. And I will make the land a, de a desolation and a waste, and her proud might shall come to, to an end. And the mountains of Israel shall be so desolate that none will pa pass through you. And they will know that I am the Lord when I have made the land a desolation and a waste because of all their abominations that they have committed. As for you, son of man, your people who talk together about you by the walls and the doors of your houses say to one another, each to his brother, Come and hear what the word is, what the word is. Come and hear what the word is that comes from the Lord. And they come to you as the people come, and they sit before you as, I, as my people, and they hear what you say, but they will not do it. For with lustful talk in their mouths they act, their heart is set on their gain, and behold, you are to them like one who sings lustful songs with a beautiful voice, and plays well on an instrument, for they hear what you say, but they will not do it. When this comes, and come at will, then they will know that a prophet has been among them. So, pretty interesting there about Ezekiel being the watchman for Israel. You know, um, God says, you know, why will you die, Israel? You know, if you repent of what you've done, turn back to God. You know, uh, you, you should surely live. You know, we're all going to die, boo, um, because of our sins. But you still have eternal life there. Um, and then, of course, Jerusalem is struck down or destroyed. So that's 33, and I'm 34 here, sure. 